Exit, it's a powerful piece of software that Digitech provides with each one of its processors equipped with a USB port. You can download the latest version for either Mac or PC from Digitech's website. Xedit software makes editing the already simple to edit Digitech processor even easier by providing a full screen layout of your processor and giving you the ability to make changes to or create new presets in real time. At a glance you can see the layout of your effects chain, which effects are turned on or off, and each individual effects settings. Within seconds you can create a preset from scratch using the tone and effects libraries to get you started, or you can morph an already established preset into your unique tone finishing it off with a custom preset name and storing it to your processor. Xedit also allows you to either back up or restore one or all of your presets at a time. This makes sharing your presets over email and the internet with other people a breeze. It also keeps your presets safe in case something ever happens to your processor or you perform a firmware upgrade which restores your processor to factory settings. Okay, so here we are inside the Xedit software. I'm going to show you how easy it is to be able to uh, program or edit a preset. Uh, so we're going to start off with factory preset number one, Plexa Drive, which gives us a, a distortion pedal, looks like a screamer, uh, noise gates turned on. We've got an amp model of a 68 Super Lead Plexi and a cabinet of a 4x12 loaded with greenbacks. That's going to give us a tone uh, a little like this. <laughs> So let's say we're looking for something a little bit more bluesy. Well, instead of uh, fumbling through all the different amps and cabinet models and distortion pedals, we can use our tone library. And we just come up here, and this has all these different styles in it we can choose from. Uh, let's go ahead and choose Blues 1. And that's going to look like turn our distortion pedal off. It's going to turn our noise gate off. It's going to give us an amp model of a 65 Deluxe Reverb and a cabinet model of a Deluxe 1x12. And that is going to have a tone a little like this. Let's say we wanted a little bit more beef to that. We wanted to increase the gain here. So we could turn the gain up. We can also turn on a distortion pedal. Uh, so we can go back with the screamer. Now we can turn the pedal on here or we could turn it on up here in the effects chain. You could do that with any one of the different effects, the gate, the chorus, or other effects like tremolo, phaser, flanger, uh, delay, and reverb. So if we've got the distortion pedal on, we can increase the gain a little bit, and our tone now is gonna be... And say so we wanted to change the cabinet model. Click the down arrow. This brings up all the different cabinets. We can choose any 4x12, 2x12, 1x12. We've got a Champ 1x8. We've also got a Baseman 4x10. Let's take that one. And that's going to take the tone. So now that we have our tone saved, basically we can gum uh, the tone the way we'd like it. If we wanted to, we could add other effects uh, to it. Some delay, uh, which basically you would just click that button. Got delay in there. Uh, and if you want all that uh, noise to go away, and we have the noise gate. Click that button and our, our noise goes away. And then we have a, so we've got delay on there or we can add some reverb if we want to. Uh, change the reverb to different types like the lexicon, Paul reverb. And then once we have the effect uh, the way we would like it, we can go through and rename it. So we just click up here and we can name it something like uh, something original like blues. <laughs> and then we can go over here to file and in file we can save blues uh, to one of our presets. Uh, on our computer so that, that way we can uh, email it to our friends or back it up uh, come back to it at a later date or we could go into device and we could store the preset 
uh, and uh, it asks us which location we want in the user uh, in the user preset category. So we just choose which uh, which location we would like to save it into, and then hit store, and it'll store it there for us. And that is how easy it is to be able to design or edit an effect using XEdit with Digitech.